Hey guys, uh, this is intake filter of the piston compressor. I'm gonna show you the whole in the whole video the full compressor, buyer spots, and everything. So watch the full video to get everything about this compressor. So this is the sieve inlet is a kind of mesh where from the air for the air inlet. I will show you where it is installed later. But uh, just take a look at it and this is the mesh, simple mesh, okay? Behind this mesh we have this filter, we, you can see the air filter here which is intake air filter. Inside of it you see there is a hole but the other side is blocked. So air coming from this side, air comes here, here the air is going inside and then there is filter, this one filter looks like this you see and this is other side is closed so air is forced to go from here it goes comes here it comes from this side and goes from here goes here okay and and behind this filter we have this you see the sieve the mesh and these holes and then we have the inlet of the compressor you see here this is the inlet okay whatever parts i have shown before are the uh, parts of this uh, this filter here we have the whole filter see this thing this thing is called filter and then we have the piston compressor but uh, this is the inlet part and here is the mesh the mesh and the, uh, the filters are behind it so this is the intake filter part incomplete okay guys okay now this was the filter and after filter we have this piston head which is basically on the piston you see this is the piston and I'm gonna show you the top view here is the top view of the piston this is basically a diaphragm down there you see this is the diaphragm and there is an intake valve inside it which operates with this diaphragm so this is the pressure line air compressed air line for operating this diaphragm so when the air comes from this filter, it goes into this, then uh, this valve operates and air comes in the piston side. This is, down there, there is a piston. I'm going to show you later how a piston looks like. You see these three have compressed air line, but these three valves have, don't, don't have any. So. These three are basically suction side filters which are operated and these are delivery side. So uh, that's about it and uh, I'm going to show you the inside of it later. Uh, you see here the uh, air coming from this filter goes to this piston which is inside it and this is piston cylinder first stage of the compressor basically first stage of the compressor has larger volume and uh, the other one which is on the other side I'm going to show you later is uh, in uh, it has small size because the uh, uh, volume is being reduced after that stage so so this was suction side and here we have the delivery side of first stage which goes round there round there and then goes to the section of the second state this is second state we have here uh, this is how the suction side looks like after the filter we have this part here this part here comes in and then we have here piston I'm gonna show you the shape of the piston this is piston you see down there this is piston and uh, here we have the jackets for air and this side is suction side and the air is compressed through this piston when the piston moves up and goes to this delivery side 
here we have the second stage of the compressor you can see here this is the second stage of the compressor which is whose which cylinder is smaller in size than what we have seen before so why is smaller because the volume is reduced here and uh, you see here uh, this is its delivery on the other side you see here this is the delivery and uh, this is delivery and it's going to the plant okay this big thing this big thing this one this is the uh, heat exchanger where we uh, basically you can say it's kind of intercooler which when you get the compression of the first stage it goes to it does not directly goes to the second stage but it goes to the heat exchanger first and then it goes to the second stage because heat exchanger removes the heat from air through it's basically water in the tube and water tube type and the air is uh, in the shell so it's a shell tube type heat exchanger and then it moves to the second stage and the same procedure uh, its compression happens and it goes to the delivery side you see this motor right here this is the basically the drive motor and the red thing we have a belt and pulley thing inside of it which is basically operating a, our camshaft of this uh, main shaft of this our piston compressor through this motor so basically this is the drive motor and here you see this is the belt and pulley which is driving our shaft this is our main shaft flywheel which is being driven by that motor over there so uh, I think this is all about this compressor. I'm gonna show you the full pick of this. Uh, this is basically I have. Uh, I thought I should show you this. This is also uh, you can see it's on the piston side. Uh, it's on the piston compressor. Basically, it's a, a lubrication system. You can say for the working of it through oil. And uh, here we have its uh, control. I mean. Uh, the gauges which are showing us different values for first stage and second stage it's instant intercooler and other things you see this is intercooler temperature right here okay so this is uh, I think this is all about is this compressor if you have any questions please uh, comment below and uh, uh, I would love to tell you all about it in uh, whatever your confusions are so this is basically uh, how a compressor look like in a full broader picture thank you very much guys thank you for watching